The fight against the Carlin boys continues here today. Welcome back everyone to some more F1 2021 driver career mode. It is 2022 and this is the first episode of 2022. So welcome to the new year. And yes, we are going to continue to try and push against the Har Carlin boys. And this is round eight. So hopefully we can really start turning it up a notch for the constructors. Driver settings wise, we are pretty de in decent form there so hopefully we can bump it up as a team and push against the carlin team so let's see what happens at the spa francochamps circuit in belgium and hopefully we can have a good belgian race weekend before we continue though just want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel make sure that red button down below is pressed hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more f1 2021 content is going up on my channel as well as other gaming videos so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos thank you guys so much for the support and let's move on with today's video Ooh, braking system fault that is not new but durability is catching on our heels i mean we can always skip this repair time I'll let everyone do their laps because we're only going to do one lap on the side or we're only going to use one set of tires so we want to keep them uh, until the track has evolved a bit and try to beat everyone 157 one is the fastest lap this is strange because i can do faster than that on time trial i have a 156 one or something i'm a full second faster than that uh, oh, Schumacher's in the 156s, so yeah, definitely I can get there. So let's see if I can pump out a banker that's good enough. Thank you, Dan Tictum, for the slipstream assist. Let's see. Here we go. Crossing the line. Fastest lap, 156.0. You see, I told you that I was like, AI is way too slow around here. 156.0 is the fastest I can set. 156.7 is what Schumacher said. Driver behind. Schumacher behind. Their best lap time is a 1 minute 56.5. 0.5, fine. Yeah. But I'm 5 tenths faster than them. I'm just going to go into the garage. Yeah, I'm untouchable at the top, guys. Best lap of 156.0 is the fastest I've set. Mick Schumacher in second and Matsushita in third. Guan Yu Zhou in seventh, which is not bad. But then again, the whole grid is going to switch it up. So the four points is what we get out of this session. But other than that, there's no guarantee that we're going to start P1 uh, on race day. So let's move on to race day. The feature race is first. And a little, a little surprise is going to await us in the feature race. It's Saturday and that means we're preparing for today's Formula 2 event here in Spa. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside for the start of what promises to be a terrific race. So here we are again, a whopping 4.35 miles of track here at Spa, featuring long straights, some seriously fast corners and some massive elevation changes. This is a track that routinely delivers high quality racing and we'll be hoping to see just that from our young F2 drivers today. Davide Valsecchi joins me today. Davide, Spa is a favourite for fans and drivers alike. What tips would you have for these young drivers today? Always a pleasure to be here, Alex. Who doesn't love Spa? I wish I was down there racing today. I would say there's a lot of places to overtake on this circuit, so be patient on that first corner. Try and get through it safely, get a good exit, and get in the right position to attack at the end of the main straight. As the engineers make their last inspection of the cars, let's take a look at today's grid order for the race. A fantastic effort from Yuki Tsunoda yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Jen Deruvula in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Tictum, Armstrong, Christian Lungard, and Galeo, Joe Schwartzman, the engineer, Gilami Samaya, Aitkin, PK, Nobuharu Machushita, and Delatraz, Schumacher, Markalon, Dragovic, and Nikita Mazepin, Alesi, Giotto, Sato and Roy Nisani completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. 
Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, surprise one. We are P9. We got pole position, but the Carlin boys are up there. Why? I just don't understand. Anyway, um, surprise number two is that there's going to be a rain stint toward the end, or maybe even for a moment, so we might not even see the rain. Let me edit the strategy and see if there's anything we can do to really um, improve our chances here. We could do medium to soft, go long, uh, but how would that impact us? Yeah, I mean, it could... We could save the mediums until the rain stint, but either way, I guess teams are going to be... Anyway, let's give this a shot, I guess. And third, final surprise for you guys is that I've bumped up the simulation saying to 110 AI. We were doing everything on 107 until now, but I think it is time we bump it up to maximum difficulty on F2 because we've been doing so well. So let's see if we can really push on everyone else and do decently well. Um with a higher AI level. All right, without further ado, let's get going here then. It is time for the feature race around Spa Francorchamps. It's lights out and away we go. A little slip out of the start finish line. Up to P5, great dive. Guan Yu Zhou's right behind me. Let's go together, mate, yes. We need to work together here to try and beat the Carlin team. They have the advantage right now going into Spa. But of course we want to push on everyone. Medium tires, 110 AI also. This is going to be an exciting race so don't turn away just yet. Things are going to get exciting. Okay, I have no grip. The mediums have no grip in the early stages, they're not heated up yet. They're not warm yet. Okay, we gotta we gotta concentrate here. We're not warm. We're still warming up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fast acceleration out of here, out of pool on. Okay, back straight is done well. Bus stop chicane. Okay, nicely taken. Decently taken. I think I can be more tidy there. Yellow flag? Or is that just traffic? Okay, strategy is going along here. Like to explain my logic behind the medium tires is that last time we got held up in the pits for a long time because we were on the same strategy as a lot of others. So I'm gonna see if going long will help us out. Plus, people are gonna be on very slow mediums by the end of the race, so we're gonna try and sprint it on the soft in the last stint. Okay, DRS is now gonna be enabled. I think Joe's gonna get us easily on the softs. We'll see. If that's the case, we're going to let him buy. Because this is going to be a team game now. We need to beat the Carlin boys on track. And we're going to be needing all the teamwork possible to try and beat them. Okay, Guan Yu is probably going to have DRS here. He's got Slip Shima as well, but he doesn't have the pace. is about 15 minutes 15 minutes should we try and stay out on the mediums I mean that's why I put them on question is is it just gonna be a sprinkle of rain or is it gonna be like full-on intermediate conditions or rather I should say wets because there's no inters in F2 I think I'm assuming the AI needs to pit soon, because soft compound tires are probably not going to last much longer. Maybe this is their pit window. Let's see. Yep. 
Tsunoda and Armstrong, Guan Yu Zhou as well. Everyone's going in. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the soft. All right, my pit window is coming up soon too. When what? When did I plan it? Lap eight to eleven. Okay. So that is soon in two laps time. Five minutes until rainfall expected. Five minutes until rain. Okay, five minutes until rain. So that means maybe I can extend the medium stint until that rainfall. Now the question is, is the rainfall going to be severe enough for wet tires? I'm not sure. Perhaps. If it's going to shower like it did in uh, s real life spa in F1 2021 season, even the F2 season, the race I think was pretty much difficult to run. I wonder if it's going to be that kind of flash flooding level of rain. We take the lead of the Grand Prix. Or take the lead of the feature race for now. Let's see our gap to the cars behind. Twenty-three seconds. That might be a pit stop. We'll see. I'm gonna rely on the pit window thing here on the MFT. Rain's coming in a few laps time. I'm not gonna gamble on it. I think the rain's not gonna be severe enough, so... We're going straight into the pits for the soft compound tire. Plus, if the rain does come, you want to be on the softs because those are the better tires with more grip. Let's go in. Soft compound tire selected. Let's really push for position. Now, we should be leaving somewhere around lap uh, P5. So, we should have the pace compared to everyone else. Come on, boys. Six. Okay, we might be right behind Sonoda. Let's see how this works out. Maybe take him. Armstrong. Joe. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Okay, we're right behind Armstrong, but ahead of Joe. This is very good. We got DRS here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How is that legal? How is that legal? I missed my breaking point. <laughs> Alright, we'll take it. Alright, alright. Concentrate, Sue. What happened, happened. We're going for Tictum now. And we got the two Carlin boys just up ahead. Weather is starting to look suspicious. Okay, we got a move ready. On the inside. Nice. We have to try and get the Carlin duo. Come on, come on, come on. Let's try to aim for a faster slap here. Lone guards out. To be honest, couldn't care less. We need one of the Carlins to DNF right now. We're catching the car ahead, but be aware that these tires need to last till the end of the race. Oh, don't worry, they're only on ten percent wear. We're really pushing on it because I think we might get into a wet stint. Okay, we've got rainfall. This is gonna be tricky now. Let's see how quickly the track gets wet. It's almost the end of the feature race. We're catching up to the cars ahead. Come on, come on, come on. Fastest lap, that's good.
I need them to struggle, man. Come on, come on, come on. Your tires are gone, man. My tires should be at least a little better. Come on. Softs. Come on, softs. Oh, come on. This is good. This is a good run. Sunoda and Deruvula, come on, you're right here. Come on, give me your slipstream. The rain isn't that bad, so I think we're gonna end on the soft. So it's a good plan to extend the life of the mediums and move on to the softs here. Ah, uh, deep dive. But Zenoda's gotten, we need to catch Duruvula. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Duruvula slipped! Oh! Pronto! Look at that, we got some luck, finally! Deruvula slipped, lad. Oi, oi, oi. You see, we have more grip on the softs. Every single time the wet isn't fully wet yet, the softs are the way to go. It's a very good strategy call from us. Brave strategy call. Sonoda has DRS. But we can defend, we can defend. Oh, what luck. Finally, we get lucky. Okay, so this is the final lap. Sinoda will have DRS. And try to break the slipstream a little. Oh yeah, he's not even getting anywhere near me. This is good. The rain has made everything very slippery. But we should be superior with the softs. Good turn. Yep, we gotta be very cautious with our power delivery. Yeah, the tires do not like this condition. It's very borderline right now, but we have a 1.2 ish gap to Sonoda, which is good. Teammate status. We're leading our teammate by 4.5 seconds. They're on old mediums. They're in fifth. The time last lap was a 1 minute 59.4. Okay, they're in fifth. So let's hope Deruvula is like far back. We should be good then. Oh, marvelous. What a strategy call, man. Sue has the strategy brain. Haas, hire me. I can be your chief statistician. A strategist. Because that was a strategy win. Great drive. We did it. Good job. A great win then for the Uni Virtuosi team today. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I'm not sure what we just saw, but one thing's for sure. Today's winner has certainly showed they have no fear battling it down on the track. And who can blame them? I don't think I've ever seen someone get through the competition so quickly. Today's race was a sight to behold, and judging from the crowd's reaction, it went down well with the fans as well. And now it's time to wind down and celebrate after that fantastic race. Here they come, your top three, out onto the podium. Risky strategies give us big, big rewards. Look at that, P1 by the end of it, Sunoda and P2 and Deruvula. 
the sucker slipped in turn one giving us the win today what a strategy call in the wets as well i love this and so driver of the day then davide valsecchi who do you think you'd go for well i'm going to have to give it to the uni virtuosi driver there was a lot of going on down the field there's no question for me they were the best unlucky that guan yu Zhou couldn't get on the podium with us today that would have been a lot of solid points gained today <laughs> Let's take a look at what happened at the end of the uh, of the feature race. Myself, Sonoda, and Tiktum in the top three podium positions. Armstrong, Joe, Galeo, Schumacher, Samaya, Aiken, and Daruvla. The lucky guy gets at least one point for Carlin. Short, Masushita, Drukovic, Kyoto, Delitraz, Alesi, Mazpin, Sato, PK, Markolov, Nissani, and Lungard. Or rather, I should say, Markolov round out the finishers with Nissani and Lungard not finishing the race. But Nissani did complete like 70%, 75% of the race, so he does get classified as a finisher. Let's take a look at the standings, though. This is very important. 75-point gap to Daruvla now. We extend this gap in the driver standings by a lot Guan Yuzhou is jumping up to 8th okay that's good this Galil is switching places with Mick Schumacher I mean Mick Schumacher was closest to me with the fastest laps I think Mick Schumacher is the fastest F2 driver out here but he is unable to score some decent points for Prema Schwartzman, yeah, he stays the same. Samaya switches places with Machita and Sato, and otherwise everything looks the same. Mazpin and Markolov are the only two drivers not managing to score a single point yet. Team standings wise, this should get interesting. Eight point gap, we could ki we could kill this gap off with a good sprint race. 324 points for Carlin, 316 for us. I'm hoping Guan Yu Zhou gets a good race in today uh, for the sprint race so that we can close this gap and maybe even extend our lead against Carlin. Come on, the boys. Campos Racing overtakes Shrews. 36 points for Trident and Campos and 31 points for Shrews. So it's a tight battle for 6th, 7th, and 8th. And yeah, let's see how the sprint race goes. Welcome back for the final event of the weekend, the sprint race. Here, the top eight from yesterday's feature race are reversed to make up the grid below us. And in just a few minutes, those drivers will be hurtling down into turn one. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remain calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Sprint race time. Let's get this race in. I'm looking positive right now. Uh, everything's looking good. P6 starting position. Not quite sure how that works out, but sure. I'll start from P6 and we'll make our way through the pack like we always do. Let's go. Nine laps around Spa. It's lights out and away we go. Tiktum felt our presence. Nice. A little touch on Sonoda. Vehicle condition. Sorry, we can't provide you with that information right now. Vehicle condition. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. Okay. Thought I had some wing damage because I collided with Sonoda, but we're going on the outside of Sonoda here. Got a little bit of slipstream off Galeo. Maybe we can get both here. Oh yes we can. Oh yes we can. P2, baby. Yes, secured. Let's go for Daruvula. That was a great start. Couldn't have asked for a better start. But we also need to keep our tires fresh for the whole race. Wonder if Daruvula is going to make the same mistake and slip in turn one. Okay, we gotta bring that gap down to one second. We got two laps to do that. This lap and the next. M main issue is that we 
need that DRS to make the gap. Oh god. That was a bad series of turns, but of course the AI is going to be a little rapid in the early stages of the race because they are on fresh tires and they really push to build a gap. Oh, already on 5% wear. Yeah, F2 tires kind of wear off quicker. Deruvalo fastest lap. Didn't see what that was, but... Oh, he's building a two second gap, which is not what we need right now. We need to close that gap quickly. That was a good Yerush and Radion. Let's go. Do we have, I think we have a better aerodynamic package than Duruvla. He's struggling. Despite having the clean air. Okay, this is looking promising. Good sector one. Perfect sector two. Or I shouldn't say perfect, but purple sector two is very strong performance from us. So this should be a fastest lap attempt here. And we're getting ever so closer to Daruvla. Come on. 158.3, 158.0. Come on. We need to somehow make it up to Daruvula. Okay, we got the slip stream. This time might be the golden time. Maybe bus stop chicane. Maybe we could do a move on bus stop chicane. Yes. We got DRS as well. Oh, nice. 157.7. Fastest lap. Uh oh. Let's extend this gap to Duruvula, please. Nice. He's gonna have DRS though. <sighs> Stick to the right. Break the slip stream a little. Nah, he doesn't have the pace. He doesn't have the pace. Almost lost it on that curb, the death curb as I like to call it in spa. Alright, last lap. Let's go. Yeah, our teammate effed it. Carlin, really? I should have signed for Carlin maybe. But I did really help you in your virtuosi rise up the ranks here. I mean, Ruin Virtuosi did get second in real life uh, F2 in 2021. He's outside the points, and Carlin are here both on the podium. I'm literally carrying Uni Virtuosi. I should get a seat instead of Ganyu Joe. But anyway, let me know of what F1 team you want me to sign for when the time comes. We are on race 8, so it's going to come in 4 races time. Because with a performance like this, there's no way F1 is going to look away from me. I'm going to be one of the best prospects in uh, F1. I'm a hot property after this kind of performance. Oh yeah, hold on. I have to scratch my nose. Um, let me just quickly scratch my nose. Ah, yeah. Okay, 110. You guys saw that, right? That's how good we are now in F2. So yeah, there we go. Cross the line cautiously. And there we go. We win the sprint race as well. You worked hard for that one. Congratulations.
So another fantastic victory for Uni Virtuosi. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think this race was won thanks to the tyrant management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. Here come our winning drivers then, out onto the podium at the end of a thrilling race. The drama and excitement are over and it's time to let it all sink in. Congratulations to our top three today. What a result. Another P1 finish, but it's Carlin on either side of me, which is a real, real shame and real bad sign for our team. We really need Guan Yuzhou to step up and stand in one of those positions because otherwise Carlin's going to win the Constructors too. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Well, I'm going to have to give it to the Uni Virtuosi driver. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. So the result of the final race of the Belgian... Uh, race weekend so to say is myself in p1 with the fastest lap as well 157.7 very solid lap from us Daruvla and Sonoda on the top three podium positions with me Lungard, Galeo, Armstrong, Schumacher and Tictum round out the points with Zhou and Samaya round out the top 10 Schwartzman, PK, Delatras, Aiken, Masushita, Markolov, Sato, Drugovic, Nisani, Giotto, Mazepin and Alessi round out the top or finishing group no DNFs today in the sprint race Point standings wise, I extend the gap to 80, so it looks like the driver standing is slowly and slowly coming into our grasps. So that is good to see Sunoda and Daruvula just behind me. That is why they are so strong. Yeah, Joe in ninth with 78 points only, so that's a bit of a shame. Galil and Armstrong overtake Schumacher and Lungard after today's races, so that is quite a switch up, but they're still quite close together. Galil on 94, Armstrong on 88, Schumacher 86, and Lungard on. 80. Joe is also peaking there but he seriously needs to score some points in order to you know compete against them. Samaya, Masushita and Sato are quite close as well. Samaya on 31, Masushita and Sato both on 28. Again Markov and Mazepin are yet to score a point so that is a shame they're down there. Team standards wise gap is now six, uh, 13 f extended from six seven points more. Uh, higher than before so this is not looking good for us 346 for carlin 333 for univirtuosi but it's not all over because we can still claw it back at the next grand prix weekend well that was a overall very good race weekend we made some solid points and we also got solid podium positions p1 in both the feature and sprint race so we are showing our dominance in f2 110 ai as well bumping it up that was a lot of fun and that was good to see such a good result come out of our performance here sadly joe is not performing up to spec he seriously needs to step it up in order to help us win the constructor standing as well the chinese driver really needs to score some points uh otherwise i don't know if i can compete against the Carlin boys like literally I'm up here against Daruvula and Sunoda but Joe is back there like what am I supposed to do um, I can't really fight them it's similar to a Red Bull situation when uh, Max Verstappen had a series of second drivers they couldn't perform up to specification of the team and that's why they were dropping them but pretty much similar situation here Uni Virtuosi relying very much on me to score the points and they really need to ask the second driver Guan Yuzhou to step it up otherwise he might get demoted to F3 who knows I don't know but yeah currently it's not looking good for our team in the constructors but driver standing is looking very solid so that was it for the Belgian Grand Prix weekend I would say I mean F1 is going to race after us but yeah the Belgian race weekend is a solid result and a good good weekend so let's move on to the next one not sure what it is so the surprise we'll have to wait on to the next video so thank you guys so much for watching this one if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more f1 2021 content is going up on my channel as well as other gaming videos so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos thank you guys so much for your support thank you for spending the time to watch this video happy new year once more i know it's date second day of january but happy new year once again and I'll see you guys at the next race weekend.